Hi hey everyone, it's Chris from RatRaceRebellion.com coming back to you with another video tutorial on how to find a home-based job. Today, I'm going to show you how to navigate the Aetna website to look at their work from home positions to see if there's anything that's a great fit for you. Now, Aetna, as you may know, is one of the largest managed healthcare companies in the United States. And they also have a really robust and growing telework program. So that makes them an ideal company to take a look at. Even if you don't have experience in the healthcare industry, remember these large corporations are oftentimes looking for people in management, technology, sales, um, healthcare for this one, of course, customer service, uh, workforce and talent. They're looking for legal people, underwriters, um, just all kinds of different positions. So come with me over to the Aetna website and we'll take a look at how you can dig in and find positions with them. So here we are at the Aetna homepage, just Aetna.com. And with all, with all of these tutorial videos, if you've been watching them, you know that we will always include any links or URLs uh, in the text in YouTube below this video. So as I've always said, start at the top and the bottom of the page looking for the link that's going to take you through to the Corporate Careers page. In this case, if we look at About Us, you'll see a section Working With Us and Aetna Careers. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. By the way, it reappears at the bottom of the page, so if you miss it there, if you don't think to look in that menu, no worries, scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see it there. So by clicking on Aetna Careers, it takes us through to a subpage that gives us a little bit of information about working with Aetna, what their mission statement is, etc. And on this page, I want you to click on Apply for Aetna Jobs Online. And that will take us through to a further subpage where you're going to click on Search Openings. Now, when you get to this page, you have some options. And while you can choose a group, a job group or a career field, what I always suggest is try looking at everything first. In other words, just leave that all box checked off because sometimes there are jobs and subgroups that are oddly categorized and you don't wanna miss out on anything that might be a good opportunity for you just because your wording would have been different from theirs. So start with everything and then start to pare it down afterward. Now I want you to find this menu that says potential telework position. And instead of all, which is going to show you all jobs that they have open, or no, which is going to show you all jobs but nothing with telework, I want you to choose yes. And that's going to bring up only jobs that do have that telework option. Then you're going to scroll down the page and click on the search button. Now, when you pull this page up, you're going to see that currently they have 238 positions and they will almost always have more than 200. They just, like I said, are really growing in their telework uh, program. So they have 238 positions that are listed as potential telework position. Now, bear in mind with Aetna and with some of the other sites who use that language, potential telework, it just, it helps them group everything together. Many of these jobs are just outright telework positions. Some of them will be telework after you've worked on site for a certain period of time. And others will be telework for people who are highly qualified and that they want to hire them, but they live in a distant location, so it has potential for telework. But the majority of them are going to be already telework positions, so don't let the word potential put you off. Now, as you scroll through these 238 listings or whatever comes up for you, um, you're going to see the different job group here in that, in that column next to the job ID number. You're going to see the job title and you'll see some locations listed. Sometimes those locations are, uh, they're set in stone, you must be in that area. Other times they're just the location where the person who posted the job is located because it's mandatory for them to put a location. So again, don't be put off, don't assume that if you're your state or your uh, your town aren't listed there that they're not going to hire you. Make sure that you read through everything. Don't eliminate when it's not necessary to. The other thing is, as you see jobs that you may be interested in, if you want to get a quick glimpse at what they are, just mouse over their ID number and it's going to give you a quick summary so that you can get an idea of whether you want to dig in deeper. 
And again, with most of these sites, all you have to do to scroll forward and see the rest of the jobs is go to the bottom of the page and you'll see that you can move forward by going to next or clicking on two, three, four, five, whatever the next page happens to be. I wish every company made it as simple to find their work from home positions as Aetna does, but they don't, which is why we do these video tutorials so that we can arm you with the tools and information that you need to mine for those work from home jobs that are sometimes buried in a company website. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share with friends and family who might also want to work from home for a company like Aetna. While you're here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll find the button for doing that below, uh, assuming that you're watching this in YouTube. And if you're serious about finding a work from home job, there are some things that you can do. First of all, make sure that you visit us at ratraceforbellion.com as often as possible. We post screened legitimate work from home jobs there six days a week. Also, like us on Facebook. Our fans on Facebook are among the first to learn about new jobs when we find them. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our email updates. They're free and you can opt out anytime. And again, we make sure that our readers and subscribers get all of the information ahead of anybody else. Thank you again for joining us. I'm Chris Durst from RatRaceRebellion.com. Have a wonderful day. And while you're at it, Get out and do something a little rebellious.